New at 5, we are getting a clearer picture of the fate of the Mitchell Park domes. They were shut down more than seven years ago because of falling concrete. And Julia Fellow shows us why county leaders are now seriously thinking about possibly demolishing the domes. The chair on the committee on parks says that all options are on the table right now when it comes to the future of the domes. This includes repairing all three domes, rebuilding just one, or demolishing all three domes and rebuilding a new development. But the one thing that everyone has in common is that they believe that Mitchell Park as a whole has been neglected. It's more than just the domes. It's the park. It's Mitchell Park. And, you know, you have a lagoon there that is really, it's polluted, it's decrepit, it's becoming a cesspool. You have basketball courts that are falling in disrepair. And since 2016, concrete the size of tennis balls is falling inside from as high as 80 feet. Wire mesh wrapping has been the temporary fix. But after years of working with consultants and even creating a task force in 2019, there is still no action plan. People inside the domes today do not want to see them go. Especially during the winter when it's frozen outside and it's nice and warm in here. I have been coming up here since I was little. Supervisor Sheldon Wasserman believes the appetite to spend 20 to 30 million dollars in estimated repairs for each dome is waning, especially when a feasibility study shows the friends of the domes could likely raise 20 million dollars to help rebuild the entire park, and just 3 million dollars could be raised by individual donors to help save the domes, which is roughly 57 million dollars short of their goal. We're very worried about the costs. But in the meeting today, Supervisor Martinez, whose district covers Mitchell Park, believes time may have run out to help save the domes. I want money for Mitchell Park itself. The domes were originally intended to last for 20 years. The domes have already extended their life. Supervisor Wasserman says that he hopes a final decision on the future of the domes is made by the full County Board of Supervisors by the end of this year. Reporting Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News.